spend a little bit of time playing around with this, you know, 20, 30 minutes or so. You could spend a whole day on it. Just uh, play around with it, see what works, see what doesn't work. But when you are ready to get going on the assignment there, what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so it's a blank page right here and you're going to have to have certain specifications for the assignment. So when you're ever you are ready to go for the assignment, you're going to create a new file. You're going to hit the new button up there. Let's get that over there. Uh, do you want to make changes? One thing to be aware of, this does not automatically save your work. So you have to hit the save button. But when I hit that new button, read the design requirement. So that's what are our specifications, and I will tell you. So you're going to hit the next button. No, we don't have a local contest code. Hit next. Deck elevation. This is how high above the water your bridge is. So you go up, you can go down. Essentially, we're going to make this as hard as possible for you. We will, uh, want to set it at 24 meters, so all the way up. Support configuration. Do we want abutments or not? So arch abutment. So if I had an arch bridge right here, the abutment is where it connects to the earth right there. So you can change that. We want standard abutments. We do not want to have an arch bridge. So standard abutments. Piers. The pier is that little central part that goes all the way down into the water to hold up part of our bridge. We want no piers. And then cable anchorages. If you have a cable state bridge, one cable, two cables over here, we want no cables. Right? So we're going to make this as hard as possible for us. So 24, standard, no, no. And you can see already this bridge just starting out costs us $63,000, $63,200. Because part of what we're going to do is we're going to try to make a bridge that works and we're going to try to make it under budget because budgets are a huge thing in the real world. So we're going to hit next. Uh, you can leave all this stuff alone. You can look at it if you want to. Hit next. Select a standard trust template. This is optional. If I wanted to open up a template just to kind of start working with, I can pick one of these. These are all perfectly acceptable designs. And I'm going to hit none though, just for right now. And I'm going to hit finish or next and then finish. All right. So just a quick recap of that. Hit the new button, hit next, next, 24, standard, no, no, next, 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 next finish. And here I am with my bridge. So I can start making my bridge. First thing I need to actually do is make a road across here. So I'm going to use the member just to draw, click and drag a long one right there. And now if I try to test this bridge, it's not going to work. We know that. Because we need to make a truss bridge, we need some support structures on there. So you can kind of design this however you want to do it. So let's just start putting some pieces here. So I'm adding this joint tool right here. And I can start putting some shapes on here. Now remember, it likes triangles. So try to make it happy and make triangles. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just adding stuff. You see, you can add multiple pieces. So again, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just trying. Let's find out. And no, that is not going to work. So I've got that little red circle, and I can see that's a big mess. Come back to here, and I can see, oh, there's a lot of stuff going on up here. A big mess. All right. So if this part collapsed, I know I want to give that a little bit more support. So let's put another little joint right here. And let's add some more support onto those. And let's even connect all those together. Just make this big web of mess right here. And let's see if that works. 
It failed the slenderness test. The slender means it is too skinny. I can change the size of each piece on here. So if I select a piece, and if this toolbox ever goes away, go up to tools, and you can pick your stuff from here, or hit view and hit tools right there, and that box will pop back up. So I can click on a piece. If it is too skinny, I can make it larger. So right now it is 150 by 150. 150 millimeters by 150 millimeters. That big, right? 15 centimeters. So imagine a piece of metal this big trying to hold up a bridge. So I can change the size. I can make it 240, sure. I can also increase and decrease with this increase and decrease button. And let's test it out. All right. And I see that one's going to fail. So let's just make everything bigger, All right? I can select everything. Just take a box and select it all. And I see it's all highlighted. Or like most programs, control A on my keyboard, control A. And then let's just make everything 200 by 200. And let's test it. Yeah, OK. It doesn't like this one. Let's get rid of that one. So I'm going to click on it, hit delete, or I can use the erase tool. Here we go. Here's my bridge. It's got my green arrow, so I know it's going to work. I can take a look at this. All right. So my bridge works. That's excellent. Now I've got a working bridge. Now I want to make it under budget. For this assignment, $350,000 is going to be our budget. Usually I do $300,000 for this assignment, but because of this whole virtual stuff, I'm going to make it three hundred fifty dollars just to make it a little bit easier for you. But let's take a look at it right now. How much does it cost? That costs $1,037,698. So I am only over by about $700,000. So. We know it works. Now we need to make it cheaper. So let's take a look at our bridge right here. I know if it's a dark color, if it's a dark red or a dark blue, it is under a lot of compression or a lot of tension. Conversely, if it is a light color, if it does not change very much, I know that it's very strong, very stable. So if it's very strong, very stable, I could probably make it a little bit thinner. If it's very weak, about to break, can't make it too much thinner. So let's just look at one piece right now. Let's look at this piece right here, this vertical piece. So does that change color very much? Or is it pretty much that white color, kind of slightly blue? All right, so that doesn't change very much. So we can make that one piece narrower. So let's go back to here. Let's click on this one piece. So it's 200 by 200. Let's make it smaller with this. Remember, you can make it larger. You can make it smaller. So that was 200 by 200, and that made it 1,037,000. Let's just make it you know, 150. All right, so I just lost about $7,000. Let's test it out, and it works. Is it about to break? Let's take a look at it. So still really good, really strong still. Let's make that. I don't know, 110 by 110. All right, still works. Just lost about $12,000. All right, but you saw how dark it got, so maybe I don't want to get too much narrow with that one. Let's take a look at some of these ones down below. So most of these can get narrower. So let's come here, let's select them. Let's just make all of those uh, one, two, three of them narrower. And look at that. Now we're under a million dollars and it still works. So throughout this process, think, analyze, you know, what works, what works well, what doesn't work well, what can I make thinner, what can I change the material of, and there's a bunch of different options you can play around with on here. So if you need to you know, if you start making a bridge and it's just not working at all, I'm going to show you how to just kind of start with one of the uh, samples. Right? 